I booked you bits, Roz, and I've um, come back today to do the Amplify, Amplify Voices um, book tag, which was started by Jenny Johnson. And Jenny um, uh, came up with this tag, having listened to the voices of um, a number of black booktubers, pointing out that it really isn't their job to educate um their white booktube colleagues about racism and explain things and um, tell us what to read or how to understand it better. And um, that's her motivation in suggesting that some of us do this tag. And what she's asked us to do is to find um, something by a black author or um, that kind of... Um, yeah, it helps us perhaps better understand racism and that we can share with each other to that end. So, um, so many things I could choose from. The thing that I've been reading this week is um, Citizen, an American Lyric by Claudia Rankin, who's um, a black American woman poet. And uh, that's something that's been on my TBR for a while, but I obviously picked it up specifically this week because of current events, because of wanting yeah, to kind of always improve my understanding, I suppose. And um, it's a really good collection. Um, it's quite a difficult one to um, kind of pick something from to read to you because... Um, it's not your standard collection of poems. It's got poems in it. It's but it's a bit more kind of like multimedia, I suppose. It's got bits of prose. It's got um, pictures, photos, graphics. Um, uh, uh, it's it's great. Um, why why I think it's a good one for us educating ourselves um, if we're not um, Black American women um, or, or, or is is she what she's deliberately writing about racism um but what she writes about is those kind of like those little instance of oh, racism is never little but you know what would might in themselves appear to be small instance that she um, experiences or witnesses things that a friend might say or a work colleague or that she might see on 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 public transport or watching the Williams sisters playing tennis that those little things and how they accumulate because they're not really little um they're um um microaggressions is how you might describe them and um the bit i'm going to read you is um one of the moments where you could imagine that she's described a lot of these and then this is one of the moments when she almost kind of sums up the impact that that has for her Okay. The world is wrong. You can't put the past behind you. It's buried in you. It's turned your flesh into its own cupboard. Not everything remembered is useful, but it all comes from the world to be stored in you. Who did what to whom on which day? Who said that? She said what? What did she just do? Did she really just say that? He said what? What did she do? Did I hear what I think I heard? Did that just come out of my mouth? His mouth? Your mouth? Do you remember when you sighed? I would really recommend it as a um, something to read and learn from. And there's also, there's a lot of beautiful writing in there. But that's an American experience and I'm British and I really wanted to um, pick some things that relate to um, racism in Britain because racism is not an American thing exclusively. We certainly have it here and it's kind of quite tied up with our um, uh, imperial, our, hist our imperial history, our, our history as, a, as an imperial power um, and our role in the slave trade. Um, so yeah, but it's yeah just as current here. Now I'm going to talk quickly about three collections of poetry and read a short poem from one um, and they cover kind of different British experience I suppose. 
The first one I want to talk about is um, Surge by Jay Barnard. Now, um, they wrote this in, two, well, it was published in 2019. And they wrote it having had access to a Black History archive about the New Cross fire, also known as the New Cross massacre, when um, 13 black teenagers died in a house fire. They were at a birthday party. It may well have been a hate crime that was never established because um, because of the unbelievable hostile racism of the kind of official in all the official inquiries that followed the fire. Um, yeah, deep, deeply scandalous and tragic. Um, yeah, it happened in 1981, but far from forgotten. While Jay was writing the poems in this book, um, the Grenfell Tower fire happened in 2017 and they um, they bring together um, some of th those two things and make the connections between the two because the Grenfell fire was not a hate crime but the it was nevertheless um, a racist um, issue without a doubt um, and I could I won't talk more about that but you could google it um, or I could try and put a useful link below. Jay Barnard's collection is beautiful, it's angry, poems in it made me angry, the use of language is superb, um, and there were poems in that collection that, that actually uh, moved me to tears, I have to say, um, hence recommending it. Second one I want to recommend is The Perseverance by Raymond Antrobus. Now, you'll know if you saw my video the other day that something that really exercises my mind is, is intersectionality. And um, uh, Raymond Antrobus is a young, youngish, black British poet who, who is deaf and brings those two kind of like experiences to his tremendous poetry. Um, and... I think that I'm quite aware about issues around ableism and, and disability and um, I found that I was challenged by and learnt from reading that collection of poetry, The Perseverance. But the one that I'm going to read you um, something from is um, this collection by Daljit Nagra. Um, Look, we have come into Dover. And this is slightly older, it came out in 2007, and um, uh, Nagra is, um, yeah, British poet, but his parents moved here from the Punjab in um, the 1950s, so he's, it's a kind of like a British Asian experience, I suppose, um, that he draws on in his poetry, and he's quite explicit about that. And a lot of the poems um, in this, and this is, was his first collection, he's done um, more since, which I've read, um, are in something that he would call uh, Punglish, which is like a kind of Punjabi-influenced um, um, idiom of English, um, which is superb, great to read, great to hear him reading aloud um, or, or performing. But if I tried to read it, it would look and sound completely ridiculous coming out of this face, OK? So I am not going to read you one of those poems, but I'm going to read you what is, I think, the shortest poem in this collection and which feels very um, opposite at this time. OK, um, I'm going to show you the poem on the page just because it we, almost like sometimes how a poem looks is part of the experience of reading it. So hence showing it to you. The poem's called X. I knot my tongue. I nail my lips. I zip my lids. And still you say, I say you harm. You hook my arms, you hood my head, you lose my legs. And still you say, I say you harm. Yeah, well, I will leave it at that.